What is type 2 diabetes? Type 2 diabetes is a disease that happens when your blood glucose, also sometimes called blood sugar, is higher than 126 milligrams per deciliter after fasting overnight. Elevated blood glucose is called hyperglycemia. Type 2 diabetes occurs when your body does not make enough insulin or your body does not use the insulin correctly. Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas. Its job is to maintain normal levels of glucose. Some people are more at risk of developing diabetes. Some risk factors are related to lifestyle, such as physical inactivity and being overweight or obese. Other risk factors outside of your control include being 45 years old or older, having high blood pressure, having high cholesterol, having a parent, sister, or brother with diabetes, having been diagnosed with polycystic ovary syndrome, being American Indian or Alaska Native, African American, Hispanic or Latino, Asian American, or Pacific Islander. Signs and Symptoms of Diabetes Some signs and symptoms can indicate that you may have diabetes. These include feeling more tired than usual, needing to urinate very often, eating but still being hungry all the time, being thirstier than usual, having numbness or tingling in your hands and feet, having wounds that won't heal, having vaginal infections, having blurry vision, and sudden weight loss. If you have one or more of these symptoms, you should see a doctor to be screened for diabetes. How the doctor tests to see if you have diabetes. To test for diabetes requires testing your blood glucose levels. This test is done at every annual physical exam or wellness check. If your fasting glucose level is above 126 milligrams per deciliter, the test should be repeated to confirm if you have diabetes. If yes, there are glucose level goals for people with type 2 diabetes. When tested after fasting, for at least 8 to 12 hours, your blood glucose numbers should be between 80 and 130 milligrams per deciliter. When tested two hours after a meal, your glucose numbers should be less than 180 milligrams per deciliter. Another test for diabetes is called a hemoglobin A1C. It is a blood test that shows your average blood glucose levels for the last three months. Hemoglobin A1C above 6.5% indicates that you have diabetes. Maintaining your A1C close to 7% will minimize diabetes-related complications. We'll discuss complications in a minute. 
If you are diagnosed with diabetes, the goal is to manage your diabetes by following self-care behaviors such as healthy eating, physical activity, monitoring glucose levels, getting regular health checkups, and taking your medication. Complications of uncontrolled diabetes. It is essential to know if you have diabetes because uncontrolled diabetes can cause damage to other systems within your body, including heart disease, which could lead to a heart attack or stroke. Stroke, which can damage the brain and cause movement or cognitive impairment. Degeneration of kidney function, which can lead to hemodialysis treatment and needing a kidney transplant surgery. Deterioration of the nerves, which can lead to chronic pain or chronic numbness. Deterioration to your veins, which can lead to leg or foot amputation. Or deterioration in the eye, which can lead to vision loss. There are things you can do to prevent these types of complications. But the first step is knowing if you have type 2 diabetes. And if yes, maintaining your hemoglobin A1C closer to 7. In video 4 of this series, you will learn how to use exercise and nutrition to prevent or delay diabetes-related complications. The next video discusses how to check your blood glucose levels.